What's going on? My name is Grego Gallagher, Hollywood physique expert. And today, I'm gonna show you how to lose weight really, really quickly while maintaining your muscle. Stupid fucking college ass budget. I can't make quality videos without hiring another drone pilot. Story of my life. Hold on one second, guys. My name is Philion. I'm a Hollywood butt pussy physique specialist. Today, I'm going to show you how to spot a puss boy. So it's first thing in the morning and I'm not even going to be eating breakfast. I'm going to be doing intermittent fasting. It's so effective at burning fat and what my favorite part about intermittent fasting is, is it makes eating lower calories more enjoyable. Intermittent fasting has literally cured my cancer. I was blind but now I can see. My mental clarity is on another level. I have a six figure entrepreneur business right now. Fuck! Intermittent fasting does nothing! Nothing! Nada! It's a tool to lose weight. That's it. That's it. Capiche? Fuck! Ah! Now, I like to start my day with a little meditation. It keeps me present, gets me focused, allows me to be the best version of myself every day. So, I'll see you in about 20 minutes. Under the legendary fake natty tree is where I find my solace and meditate to the San Pellegrino God. Now, it's Saturday about 10.30 a.m. and I actually have a little bit of work to do. Um, I'm working on uh, writing a new program. I find that when you're fasting, you get really focused and productive. You don't get distracted. You know, your food's not on your mind. You're in that fasted state where you're burning the fat. You're gonna experience something really crazy when you start fasting. You're gonna feel so focused. Wait a second. If fasting increases mental focus and meditating increases mental focus, how focused are you, my guy? You must be on another fucking planet. Oh my lord. Can you see objects on a molecular level? What is going on in that Gregory Noggin of yours? After all of that hard work, I like to take my alpha male success power nap. I'll see you guys in about 23 minutes. Good, I'm good. Yeah. You ready to train? Yeah, I'm ready to train. I got awesome. my workout gear on. So we just got to the gym. We're still fasting. I like to train fast and then eat a big meal afterwards. You get the best results that way, I find. Um, so we're about to do our workout. Like so how does one know that Gregory is fasting? Don't worry, guys. He'll tell you. He'll definitely tell. He'll let everyone know that he's fasting at this very moment. Here's the thing. This video is phenomenal. There's no other way around it. I mean, the production value is on par with that of an Oscar winning film. The acting is exquisite, but the content the content sucks. You give a four-year-old any of Gregory's videos, well, in about 15 minutes, they'll tell you the structure of his next video. It goes something like this. Wake up, fast, coffee, fast, gym, feast, different breed, orgy, sleep, repeat. Do these words sound familiar? Focus on key compound lifts. Focusing on the shoulders and upper chest to build that X-shape Hollywood Greek god physique that women go crazy for. You gotta work out three times per week. The key, of course, is I only actually work out about three days per week max. Anything more, you're just, you're overdoing it. Anything less, you're an absolute pussy. Three days is the golden G spot of working out. Now we're ready to break the fast. But when you train fasted, you feel so good to eat afterwards. You feel like you actually, you know, you actually deserve it. You've earned it. Your body's receptive to it and fasted training really primes your body to take the nutrients that you eat and direct it to muscle tissue. Like an anabolic window? This isn't fitness YouTube 2010. Anabolic windows don't exist. Your body needs fuel and food is fuel. You're giving your body fuel by eating food. These proton molecules are going straight to the biceps, straight to the pipes. So I'm hitting my first meal a day. I don't think they gave me enough steak though. I'm <laughs> just kidding. 
I got a lot. Okay. I got a lot. Um, but I have some bone broth too, which is really filling. Bro bone broth is really low in calories, 20 calories. Fills you up. We got some nice spices in here. So this is a little dieting hack. Bone broth will fill you up for like 20 calories. I guarantee you this is the first time Greg has ever had bone broth in a cup. This man is eating soup without the soup. What is you doing? What is this? How? How is that filling? You guys ever drink broth from a soup? How the fuck is that filling? It's water! I bet you the hipster behind the counter was like, Hey man, you wanna try our new homemade bone broth? And Greg was like, oh yeah, fuck yeah dude. Tosses him a coin. Getting some nice crispy apples. One of my favorite little things to have at night. English muffins. This is fake. This has to be fake. I refuse to believe that Greg is all happy-go-lucky 24-7, on camera, off camera. No way. No shot in hell. The camera shuts off and Greg is like, Look at these piece of shit apples. Just, they're, just, they're just shit. They're just, they're just shit. Where's the English muffins? They were right in front of me the whole time. Deborah, what am I paying you for? Get the close-up of the English fucking muffins. So, my first meal wasn't quite 1200, it's about 950. So, I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna have a Rice Krispie Square, get a little bit more carbs in, and that will be my 1200 calorie meal. Look, look at Greg's lunchbox. He just came home from camp and he just pulls out a Rice Krispie treat from his fucking Louis Vuitton backpack. What is that? Now, you don't have to eat clean superfoods to get lean, it's all about being in a calorie deficit. So, uh, you can have Rice Krispie Squares. If you eat less calories than your body burns, you will lose fat. Mmm. Mm, it's so good. Lucky enough for you guys, Big Natty Snack Daddy, keyword Snack Daddy, has some recipes that I want you guys to try out. I call this one the Crispy Cock. Okay, guys, I got my Rice Krispie Squares here, except this one's a rectangle. <laughs> I guess they're all rectangles. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to open these up and see what we got going on. This one's a long one. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is pop these suckers in the microwave for about five to 10 seconds. That's enough, that's enough. I know just the right shape. Oh, that's fucking hot. Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. Mom. Does this look like a penis? Okay guys, now it, it didn't really turn out as I planned, but we got our nice Rice Krispie chode and now we're good to go enjoy our little snack. Greg's last meal of the day is like a frittata omelet fake natty delight thing. I don't know. I mean, it, it looks good, I guess. There's a reason why this fasting strategy has taken the world by storm. It is so enjoyable. I'm eating Rice Krispie squares, English muffins with butter on them. There's four things you have to commit to. Three workouts per week, focus on the key lifts. Two, you gotta be willing to push yourself hard and get stronger by adding a rep or adding five pounds. Third, you must be willing to try intermittent fasting. That's the strategy that makes fat loss effortless. And fourth, tracking your calories. Woo! Okay guys, so there are four things I want you to keep in mind. Don't be a puss boy. 